touchdown. Here's Oregon set to kick it off. A fairly short kick from the 14. Now a hit and a loose Another football. Day, and this will be scooped up by the defense. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit, or maybe lost their focus as well, and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. First down, Crabtree, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result, because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. Now Drake. And he'll get three up to midfield. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Throw left side complete. That's Brooks. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. Off play action. Madden rolling to his right. And the man open here is strong. <laughs> and all the way to the opposite 45. A big play that time through the air. And even 40 yards. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. First down, Madden dancing to his left. Dancing away at the 35. Pass the 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A big play there on the scramble. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll roll him out right. And he's brought down. Well, we know how important it is, Charles, that a quarterback who can take off and run with it when need be. This is a great job right here. And he just exhibited what he's shown throughout his career and one of the reasons why they like him so much in today's football. His ability to use his feet and get out of trouble or create plays. His legs are going to be a big part of his game as he moves on. In fact, before the game, I talked to a veteran scout. He just told me. And he is into the end zone for an Oregon touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. 
The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now Thomas. He finds his man complete. That's Brooks. And they work this well upfield across the 35. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Second down and three. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Three yards remain for second down. Now a draw play with Drake. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Thomas. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, Madden. Finding some room at midfield. A little juke. Again with a juke. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Ducks. Touchdown. And the Ducks have furthered their advantage. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. Whoa. He just yanked that one well to the left. And no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Thomas will look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On first and 10, Williamson. 